Only on KDKA, they are called community health workers, and they are bridging the gap between doctors and patients. And new at 7.30 tonight, I sat down with the Allegheny County Health Department to talk about the big money it just secured to get more trained community health workers out into your communities. On the tree-lined streets of the north side, Georgette Evans does her best work. I can get you food yeah. by seconds. I can get you by second. Secure a safe place to stay, find a doctor or a dentist, She's a community health worker who truly does it all. What's your favorite part of your job? When I see success in someone, it could be a little thing of them accomplishing, filling out that application on their own, going to their doctor appointment on their own without having some type of support there. As a community health worker or CHW, she's the supportive link, a connection between people in need and a list of resources a mile long. That's why there needs to be more community health workers out here. Um, I don't think people know the importance. Inside the walls of the Allegheny County Health Department, they know. And the COVID-19 health crisis highlighted how these CHWs are some of the most valuable members of our communities. Well trusted, well networked, um, you know, like have a really good understanding of what's going on specifically in their community. That's why Kel Wilkinson's thrilled. The Allegheny County Health Department just secured a substantial chunk of money to train and pay these frontline workers. Through your grant, um, and the idea is all around um, imploring uh, community health workers to help address uh, disparities related to COVID-19. We're talking $2,650,000 with $1.67 funneling directly to local organizations. And that's just the first year. Robert Ferguson explains that level of impact. That's really important because at the moment, um, there isn't a direct reimbursement system for CHWs. Ferguson believes the money will create infrastructure, ensuring more organizations can train and certify future community health workers. It's making sure that CHWs are a core part of the public health of workforce because they really bridge the gap between um, um, health care and the community that the CHWs serve. How do you get them to trust you? Um, first of all, I introduce myself. Um, tell them what, you know, what my role is, what I can do, what I can't do. An honest ally and advocate, Evans talks to everyone she meets. She hopes this funding helps mend the break in the system. It's a, um, a break in there between there. So we need to have them community health workers in the middle to be able to bridge that doctor and that patient. And you have probably heard of some of the organizations on the receiving end of some of the money. The East Liberty Family Health Center, Project Destiny, the Neighborhood Resilience Project, and the Squirrel Hill Health Center, just to name a few.